In this video, I'm going to show you how to find, download, and install both CodeLite and also the G++ compiler so that we can make some executable files for Windows. Now, we will also probably need to do a little bit of configuration. We will deal with that in the next video. So the first thing we need to do is we need to get the files. If I search for CodeLite, there's a handy link just here for download CodeLite. Now, CodeLite 13 for Windows 64-bit installer, that looks like what we want. And you can see it's going to start downloading just here. Now, we are going to install MinGW first, so I will show you how to do that. But we've got our CodeLite ready. And again, I'm going to go to Google and I'm going to type in MinGW. And if I click on MinGW here and then downloads, what I want, if I have a look down here, is the MinGW installation manager. Okay, so if I click on show and show, I'm going to use the .exe version that is at the bottom. And it might well warn you about downloading this software. It's perfectly fine. I'm going to select keep. Now that's downloaded already, so I can start to install MinGW. I'm going to say install. It's going to go into C colon backslash MinGW. Okay, now this is really important because this will help CodeLite automatically find MinGW. So, it's starting to download various bits of MinGW. And we just need to wait for it to go through. And then we can click on continue. Now it's asking us what we want in terms of MinGW. So we need to have the G++ installation. Let's go for the basic as well and the development toolkit. We don't need Ada, that's a different language. We don't need Fortran, that's a different language. Same with Objective, uh, same with Objective C and then it's automatically selected this uh, to install for us. So now we should be able to click on installation and apply changes. And it says these packages will be removed. Well, we didn't have anything in the first place. That's fine. These will be upgraded. Again, we didn't have anything. And it's going to install these items down here. So apply. And it will now go and get all of the relevant things and install it on our system. Now you can see here there's two options. There's basic setup and all packages. Sometimes you might want some additional libraries to work with. So for example, if you're interested in doing things with graphics, you might want some extra things in there. You might also want uh, some extra tools. And you can go to all packages and it will let you select those extras should you want them. But we've selected enough at the moment that it should just uh, go through absolutely fine. So we're waiting for that to complete and we're going to skip forward a little bit ahead in time here because it does take a little while. Right, now we're onto the actual ins uh, installer itself. It's downloaded all the files and it's extracting them onto our hard disk. This means we'll be ready to set up and run uh, MinGW. This shouldn't take too long. There we are, it's now just finished. So I'm going to close this dialog. That's absolutely fine. You can see we've got green, 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 and green. And now we can close the MinGW installation manager. We can now find the code light which we opened up earlier. Now, if I click on show in folder, 
you can see that this is a .7z file. Now, I've got a package installed called 7-zip, and I am going to extract it into this folder here. And we should be able to see there is my .exe file. If you don't have 7-zip installed, you can download and install 7-zip for free. I double click on code like AMD64. You might not be able to see this on the actual video, but it's just asked me if I want to allow this app from an unknown publisher to make changes on my device. Yes, I do. I need to accept the agreement and next, next, and next, and install. And you can see CodeLite installs very, very quickly indeed. And there we are. So hopefully now CodeLite is running up already and it says welcome to the setup wizard. So I can click on next and I want to do C, C++ development. Next and then I'm going to say scan for compilers. Now the one we want, I've actually got a couple more on my machine, is the one we just installed in MinGW. Next, and then the theme, depending on what you want. I know some of you like the dark theme, some of you like the light theme. And we are going to indent using spaces, visible always, finish. So, we've now got code light set up. It should just be restarting. There we are, and I'm going to create a new workspace, and I'm just going to call it test. And then I'm going to create a new project in test, and it's going to be a console project, same as we use at school, G++, next, and I'm going to call this test27. Let's try that. So now we've got the main.cpp, there's my program, and then if I click on um, build, and then build project, we can see it's built just fine. And in fact, if I click on build and run, build and execute, there we are. Hello world, press any key to continue. I now have a working project. I will go through a couple of the setup steps in the next video.